Good morning, everybody. Long time no see. For those of you that have been to my channel before, welcome back. For those of you that are new, welcome. I'm glad that you came. Checked it out. Hopefully it's good. <laughs> uh, so this morning I have to go and do some running around and I thought, you know what, why don't I take everybody with me? I haven't seen you guys in a long time. So uh, we have a little bit of errands to do and Abigail is going to come and help me out. So I don't know why. Do you guys ever get this? Where just one just one eye tears <laughs> yep just one part of me is sad apparently <laughs> do you ever get that yeah just one eye tears in the morning yeah maybe mm -hmm. i think so uh in our neighborhood right now and not I mean not just in our neighborhood i don't know how much of our province right now but uh the forest fires from the province bc are coming into uh to visit edmonton so it's actually pretty smoky i can see the sky today which is a bonus but all the smoke makes my eyes water my nose run and sneeze so that's that's special <laughs> okay so the first stop we need to go to the property we have a couple errands that we need to do there and then where are we going after that uh to get supper grocery store because we get a rare visit from the mother <laughs> so my mom is bringing my niece and nephew uh for a visit today and they're gonna stay for supper so we're gonna do a snack platter which is exactly what it sounds like because I don't know how hot it's gonna get. Snack platters are great. So without further ado, let's get going. There's, I can't remember who says it. They're like, let's get, oh, isn't that Rosie? She has that cookie show. Yeah, let's get one going. Day. Yeah, that's one eye. One eye is very sad. Okay. Well, I'm a little bit out of breath. We cleaned up a little area. The tent is still set up. This is my vehicle. There's our little, Somebody called it a TARDIS, and Alexander called it a TURDIS, but a little porta potty. But yeah, we got what well, we came to accomplish out and are done. And there was some containers that were filled with water from rain. So we wanted to make sure everything was dumped. So we didn't have, oh, I'm out of breath. Mosquitoes uh, spawning. And we found a frog in the bucket. So lucky that we came today to go and take care of everything. Because it could live. Hopefully it lives. I don't know how long it's been treading water, but it looked okay. It scampered off as dogs do. Scamper. Okay, so now we are on our way to go get some groceries. So we have uh, supper figured out and done. So we did get a little bit of rain. So it is a little bit more green, thank goodness. Our grass seed hasn't started yet. You can kind of see it. Was there actually a caterpillar in your shoe? Yeah. I feel like it's not doing so well. I think I might have stepped on it. Oh, it's just playing dead, I think. I think it's okay. Yeah, okay. Oh! Sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I gotta get used to filming again. I almost forgot to show you guys. We went grocery shopping, we got some lunch, and we usually try to pick out a food that we haven't tried before. Sometimes it's a vegetable, fruit. Today it was not. It was these milk chocolate tea cakes and it says they're from Scotland. So it looks like this. You know what that looks like? Kind of like a wagon wheel. If you guys have had a wagon wheel. Let's see what's inside it. Oh, it's like a cookie on the bottom. Is it marshmallow? Mm -hmm. And chocolate, is it good? Mm -hmm. Her eyes yeah, are rolling. Good. Her eyes are rolling back. Hold on, we got Jason too. I finished mine. Wait, how was it Jason? Uh, Good. It's in my stomach now. Did you like it? Yeah. Mine exploded. Ooh. I'm not to the... It's kind of not really like a marshmallow. It's like a... Kind of tastes fruity. I got my hair in it. <laughs> it doesn't taste fruity. Mine it's kind of more like a... Like a cream. Like a whipped cream marshmallow. I don't know what it is. It's good. It's not too sweet. I thought it was going to be too sweet. So now we're gonna do a quick cleanup. I have some stuff to all put away. Yeah, there's always like, you know, that mess. But everything else, living room, oh, you can't even see. Let me, let me show you without my body in it. Living room is pretty much done. Yeah, it's pretty, I mean, that, something has to be done about that. That, that looks nice. But I have just a couple things on here. I have the basil that I'm drawing sitting here it's time to flip it anyways just some stuff that needs to be put away a little clean up in the front room that's not so bad 
I can handle that. A couple pairs of shoes. Stuff on the stairs that needs to be put away. I'm attempting to dye my hair that color. My hair is strange. So the last time that I dyed it, it bleaches really fast just from the sun, but then it grows in really dark. So this was actually a darker brown when I dyed it the last time and it still turned lighter, but look what's growing in. Like that, what, what is this? Firstly, that's, that's special. And you can see the ones that are shining are silver. <laughs> Just gonna have to take my word for it. <laughs> I'm trying to make them glisten in the, in the sun. <laughs> but yeah, what, what it, look at how dark that is. So I'm going to try to even that out so that I don't have a, it doesn't even matter. No matter what color I go, it's going to go lighter and it's going to grow dark in at the roots. It even did that back before I dyed my hair, but oh, that's just how it is. We'll see how it turns out. I'm crossing my fingers that it doesn't turn orange because generally that's how it works for me. If it says golden anything at all, that just means orange for me. If it says uh, ash, ash for me goes green. I don't know if anybody else has this problem or it's just because I shouldn't be dyeing my hair. <laughs> but we'll see. Cross our fingers. I've never tried this brand before. So I'm going to see how it turns out. Wow. Morning, Stephen. It's not morning. It is the afternoon. Are you helping me wash the dishes? No. What are you doing then? Making a mess on purpose. Yeah, he's washing. He's washing the dishes. All right, there's still some stuff out, but I just cleaned it up a bit. A bit. Hey, Chubb. Hmm? Yeah. So it's good. I gave the floor a quick wipe. It's fine. Right, Abigail? It looks like you have crazy hair. Let's take a look. Because look behind you. <laughs> I'm excited for my mom to come, not only because it's my mom. I can't wait to see her. I don't know if they're going to want to go on camera though, but either way, I get to see her and it will be the first time that she has seen the property. So I can take her for a little tour and show her around. So I'm super excited about that as well. Uh, I'm going to do get some snacks and stuff together for when the kids come and yeah. Yeah. Let me show you what uh, Alexander found at one of his picks. Uh, most of the stuff went to auction, but this is something that I asked for. Uh, I like it. Let me show you. I can hear Alex, or Alexander. I can hear Stephen playing outside with the... There was a pretty nice amethyst, but also uh, a lapis. But I like that it had the, uh, the vein of quartz in there. And then you can see the pyrite shining, but it's, it has a really nice shape to it. So I put those here with my diffuser. So my house smells like oranges. I made the dog freak out right when you were recording. I'm aware. Jason was, it's, it's real life. I didn't it's know. It's what happens. Watermelon. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Ready? Are you choking? Roll over. Woo! Almost wow. off the couch. I'm sorry. Good boy. That was almost really bad. Oh my gosh. So uh, I've been trying to teach Chewy how to roll over for a long, long time. Long time. And because I would put my hand on his side because I was scared that it was going to hurt him to roll over. Now he, that's his command. You have to touch his side and he rolls over and apparently almost onto the floor. So oh, I would have felt pretty bad, but he does it. He does it. <laughs> it's like the most uh, not useful trick of all time. I mean, we could be, he could be running off yard, not, you know, long gone. And I could be like, Chewy, what, what is roll over for? My entertainment purposes only. That's, that's what it's for. My poor dog. <laughs> it's cute. What are you eating, Steven? I'm not eating anything. Jelly beans. Oh. It's, a, it's a garbage bag. Don't eat that. What are you implying? Don't eat that, Steven. <laughs> what are you eating? I'm making myself a new fashionable pair of pants. I mean, I asked. All right, you guys, this is a little strange. We do this every once in a while when we do have uh, a bit of 
everything in the fridge. Usually that's when I do a snack platter. Generally, I just take one of those veggie trays and I shove everything you can possibly put into it in there. And then I serve it with toothpicks so that it just gets magically eaten. But today I'm purposely making a snack platter. I'll show you uh, what I'm making. I generally make it a little bit heavier on the fruits and vegetable side just because they're the healthiest for you. But of course, you'll see, hold on. Okay, so I have some carrots. They're not the greatest looking, but they look good once they're all chopped up. Some cucumbers. I'm gonna cook up some of this rainbow tortellini. There's some crackers, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the crackers since we already have pasta. There's two types of cheese, marble, and then also this hot spicy one. This one has, what is it? Oh yeah, habanero and jalapeno. So that should burn our faces off. Then we got this, the kids like the fine garlic sausage the best because it doesn't have the big chunks of stuff in it. And then Abigail asked for salami. salami. Oh yeah, she calls it salami. And then I got some tomatoes because they were on sale. So I have this plus uh, floor watermelon. So I'll chop that up as well. And I was hoping to freeze. I think that that's enough food. But you know what's really good? I think I've mentioned it on another vlog, but taking uh, these pineapple rings and shoving them on a skewer, putting them, laying them flat, lay them flat first on a pan with some parchment paper or wax paper, doesn't matter. Shove it in the freezer. These turn into deliciousness. They're so good. <laughs> Why this with my children? <laughs> They are good. You need to t trust me. They're hard to get on the skewers because the, sometimes these rings just fall apart. But either way, it doesn't matter as long as it's frozen and delicious. Why is there something wet on the bottom? And this can better not be leaking. Gross. Why? Coming, you to, coming to you from the future as I'm trying to edit everything, I realized I didn't finish off <laughs> what happened uh, when I picked up my mom. I obviously didn't film, but it was a really good visit. I had my mom and my niece and nephew and my sister and uh, my other niece and nephew. <laughs> I forgot they all should, they were all here for a little bit, but uh, we went to the property. I got to show my mom our land, my mosquitoes, <laughs> and kind of where we're going to put everything. The kids had fun. There's like a little play set out there and uh, they had fun running around and spending some time together. So. I thought I better finish that thought so you have an idea. I did end up using that dye and it did turn a bit brassy, but that's not the problem. Who cares about the brassiness? That'll end up turning blonde right away anyways. It's the ends. I don't know if you guys can tell. Well, there it looks okay, but in the mirror, I swear it has a tinge of green. Oh, so <laughs> when it says ash, it usually it looks like it has a gray green t tinge, which I mean, that's the color we're all going for. I mean, unless you are then, I mean, then you're, you're rolling with it, but no, nope, not me. That's not what I was going for. So we'll see. Once we have some sun again, uh, the smoke was way worse today outside. So we were, we limited how much time we were out there. It actually is, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but it most definitely is affecting us. Uh, what else? A quick update from today. We kind of kept it bit, uh, busy. We did not keep it busy. We kept it very not busy. We went to the farmer's market that's really close to us and I'll show you what I got really quick. First thing that I got was a little lavender wreath. I love that. And they end up drying really nice too, so that came home from the farmer's market. From that same lavender place, I got some lavender bath salts. There was a lavender soy candle, also a lavender roller, as well as a lavender sachet because why only get one thing when you can go crazy? What I liked about this place was that it was all essential oils. I mean, they did use a carrier oil as well, but it was jojoba oil and grapeseed oil. So um, of course you generally, especially in the lavender and peppermint, you wanna make sure to have a carrier oil because peppermint can burn your skin. So I mean, as can essential oils are very potent. <laughs> so. That's all good, but I don't, I can't handle fragrance oil myself at all. It, it makes me not feel well or gives me migraines. So essential oils seem to be good, except for geranium of all weird things. I can handle geranium flowers, but geranium essential oil, I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> That's like the only one. So what else did I get? 
welcome, welcome to real life. There's a whole bunch of stuff, everything. But I got some wild mushroom soup. Uh, there's the, I don't know how to say it. Is it moral soup? And then there was also truffle mushroom soup. And then a uh, jerk spice rub. I absolutely love jerk chicken, so I am out of our spice rub, so I thought I'd grab some of that. Uh, so from this place, I also got this uh, five mushroom pate. And beside them, or near them, were some, I can't even see. This looks like bagels. Let me open it. The stuff I can't do with one hand. But I also got some, oh, it already smells so good. Green onion cakes. Oh, man, you guys. This already smells good and it's frozen. And then from the jerk seasoning place, they had tons of meat pies and stuff as well, but I got some jerk chicken patties. I'm going to have these for supper tonight. And I think that about sums up. <laughs> I think you guys are caught up with our next day. And here's a, here's a Chewy. Hi, Chewy. <laughs> now back to the past where I'm going to do my ending. <laughs> ah, it's all over the place. I'll get back into the swing. I'll get back into the swing. I'm glad you guys got to come with me today as well. Very short little what I got today, but anyways, back to the past. We're on another day. It's actually the next day, Saturday. I'm hoping to edit this tonight and uh, get this out for you guys. So we didn't have a lot that we did today. We had some appointments that I had to go to, but uh, the smoke got so much worse today. <laughs> so we kind of hid in the house and away from the smoke. Our lungs were starting to suffer from it. And it's, uh, it's a little crazy. Like it's like being next to a, I mean, a forest fire. <laughs> I guess like a campfire. It's just, uh, I can see the smoke in my backyard even, and that's coming from a province away. So hopefully that clears up a little bit and we can get to being back outside. Uh, I'm just getting ready for my book club. We did uh, childhood uh, stories that we love from our childhood was the theme that this person chose and I finished the book. <laughs> but I did want to touch on quickly through our other channel, Curiosity Inc. If you guys haven't checked out that channel, I will link it below. Uh, I just wanted to thank you all so much, not only for being here and supporting me and my family uh, on this channel, but the overwhelming support that so many of you have shown us. And I mean, <laughs> it's overwhelming. I, I know that you guys are there for us, but just when, uh, when it happens in such great numbers, it's always just so overwhelmingly, just so much love. <laughs> but I appreciate you all so much. It took such a kind of negative situation and turned it into such a huge positive that showed what happens as usual when something not so great happens, when you come together with love, uh, how anything can be solved. So... I just wanted to come on and actually say thank you. Thank you so very much. And somebody said, do you read the comments? You know what? I actually go in and do read the comments, not only to make sure that everything is positive because we all want to feel good after. And that includes in the comments because I'm not the only one that reads the comments. So I want to make sure that it stays as positive as possible uh, for all of our mental state <laughs> and realistic. That being said, and also realistic. So but thank you all so very much. Alexander and our friends are all working so hard at the Potter's House right now in Provost. If you have no clue what I'm talking about, feel free to go and check <laughs> out Curiosity Inc. Uh, it starts with the Potter House series from I, almost two years ago now, I guess. Has it been two years? And then we rented it out uh, and now we're re refurbishing it, I guess, uh, and getting it all ready for the next people to be able to buy it. So uh, with that said, I better get off here. I'm going to go do my book club, edit this so that I can get a video up and start keeping you guys updated again because I miss you guys. I miss connecting and I miss doing the videos. So with that being said, have the most wonderful night, you guys, and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye, everyone.